Hello and welcome to another C Sharp tutorial. So in this video, we're going to go over nested lists. All right, let's jump in. So a nested list, just like how we were doing multidimensional arrays and jagged arrays in the other lesson, um, we can actually make uh, nested lists fairly easily um, comparatively. So we can just say a list, just like how we normally would, our list and then our data type, which would be an int. And then we can say um, my table or my list for that matter equals new list and then int and then we construct it. Okay, so this is our list. All right. Now, what if we wanted to make a list of lists? Well, we can do that fairly easily here. We just nest this list. So this list is a type of list, which is a type of, oh, excuse me, this int is a type of this list, which is a type of this list. So it is nested. So that means we need to follow suit over here. All right, so now we have a list of lists. So my list dot add, we're gonna go ahead and add some items. So you might be wondering how we're gonna do this. We can just say new list and we're gonna say int and we can do this just like so. In fact, we could actually um, just break this up a little bit. There you go, make it nice and readable. Three. And then we can take this. Um, we can do four, five, and then take this out. And then six, seven, and eight. Oh, and nine. Just to show our, um, just to show that we can have multiple different sizes in here. Okay, so now we're just gonna write a for each, keep it nice and simple, for each of our list in uh, my list, and said let's make it my table. So we're gonna go through here, change this, whoops. All right, and so for each list in my table, we are going to break it up, of course, as we did in the last one. All right, and then we're gonna do just another for each. So again, right here in this for each list, right here, for each list in my table right here, this list of lists, we are going to go in and essentially grab each item. So for each list, um, go in and take a look at each item. And then for each item, so for each item in list, new, uh, new variable and list right here. So for each item in our list, we can do console dot right line and we can print out our item. Okay, so let's give that a shot, see how it looks. And what do you know? Looks incredible. We have our list um, printed out right here, and it was very easy. Um, we All we did was we made it our nested list of lists, or excuse me, our list of lists, and we added a new list, and then we added some variables. And then we went in here and went into our table, or our nested list of lists. <laughs> I'm getting real tired of saying that. Um, so our table, we went into our table, and we um, grabbed each, each list. And then for each list, we went in and grabbed each item. And then we printed out each item on the screen. Okay, well, I hope that makes sense. Um, nested loops can get a little weird, uh, but 
I wanted to exemplify how we can actually do this um, and how using a list in this case is significantly easier um, than trying to use a jagged array or a multi-dimensional array. Um, however, again, it is a little bit more expensive computationally, but um, if you can spare it, especially with uh, some of these smaller um, data sets like this, it really isn't that bad. So um, let me know if you have any questions, and until next time, I'll see you later.